So what are some ways of, of building trust? What should we be listening for in a sure. job interview? Yeah, in, in, in a number of studies that I had done with uh, Dr. Donald Moyne, who's a sales psychologist, a terrific guy, we found that super salespeople, very persuasive people, do something called mirroring or pacing. So when they're meeting with someone, and you can do this in a job interview, they would mirror the person they're meeting with. So if the person is talking quickly, like I'm kind of talking right now, they're going to talk just as quickly as I am. Tell me about that job. Well, I had that job. I had a lot of promotion. But if the interviewer is talking slowly, they will slow it down. Because frankly, if I'm with a slow-talking interviewer, tell me, Ken, about your work experiences. And I say, Jim, I'm glad you asked me that question. I got promoted three times, then I did this project. That person is going to think, not my kind of person probably a little flim flam and the same works the opposite way so what you really do is you want to pace that person's body language their style you're nodding they nod you put your hand here they you follow what they're doing and what happens is the message is this guy has a lot of similarities to me I can trust him we trust people like ourselves that's the hidden message you're selling your labor and you're using the most powerful persuasive techniques you can find that's good. I also know that when I'm talking to somebody, when I'm on a job interview or just talking in general, doing an interview like we're doing right now, um, if I'm focused more on what the person I'm interviewing is saying or the person who is interviewing me is saying and less focused on what I'm going to say next, I get a lot more out of the interview. Oh, absolutely. If interviews are really conducted properly, who is ever interviewing, you should be using basically a stylist. They should know what the key questions. They can probe in further, but they should know where they're going to go. And frankly, all of the questions should be job related. That's, that's really how you conduct a legal and frankly very effective interview. So what are bosses looking for these days? In addition to all the skills that we hopefully have when we apply for a job, what are some of the things that really stand out right now? That's interesting. If, if you really think about it, bosses in an interview, yeah, they'll have the superficial questions that we talked about, tell me about your work and what you liked and disliked. They're really trying to answer two real questions, just two, and these are the ones to keep in mind. One, can the person do the job? Does the applicant have the knowledge, the skills, the abilities, the experience, the expertise to do this job? It's not the toughest question in the world to answer. You can oftentimes see that on a resume. That's question one. That's big global question one. The other is, Will the person do the job? That's the other one they want to answer. Does the person have the energy, the drive, the character traits, the leadership, the communication skills, the persistence to do this job? And that's the second question they're trying to answer. And they get that by taking a really good work history. It comes out. Our work history shows our motivations. It shows those character traits.